Ah, in fact, I do have a press release. I thought it might come in today. It's from the ICC. I do love a good press release, Geoffrey. Mm. <laughs> so hopefully this is the one we've been waiting for. Let's see. Let's watch Anderson bowl first of all, though. Wheeling round of the pavilion behind him. Four slips, and Anderson's on his way. Dipping his head. Here he comes now. Bowls to Morris. Bowl. Oh, he's beaten. What a lovely ball that was. Mm. And it's taken by the keeper to end the over. Right, here we go. Ah, it's not what... It's not what I was thinking. This is a statistical... I'm not very good at these press release. Further to the recent request from the South African government, the ICC has now considered the question of downgrading the status of all statistics, including runs and wickets, from the series played between England and the rest of the world in 1970. The ICC agrees, it's quite interesting, that agrees that the series has played against the spirit of the Glen Eagles agreement and that in the interests of keeping cricket free from political interference, a bit of a mouthful, all matches will be removed from first-class records. That's ridiculous. David Richardson, chief executive, says clearly this will not prove popular with those cricketers whose records will now be amended, but we're looking at the bigger picture. It's quite serious, isn't it? Peter Hayne, he was on the programme recently, the long-time anti-apartheid campaigner, has hailed it as a great day for cricket <laughs> and humanity. <laughs> I'm sure the players involved will take it on the chin. For more details, contact us. Well, I, wasn't, I was not expecting that. That's a loaded and tripe. What are you going to do with that? Well, that's that first, what does that mean? That's well, the first time I've heard of that, that's for sure. These... They, not, they, weren't, they weren't test matches, were they, those games? Well, yeah, yeah. They, they were played as test matches at the time, but were subsequently ruled not long after that as not being test matches. Well, they were ruled in as test matches for test yeah. match statistics for, a, I don't know how many, a couple of three years or something. In goes Roland Jones, and he bowls. That's clipped away off an inside edge, has runs here, probably four of them. Yes, there is, down to the boundary. Then so they were taken out. Then they were taken out. That's That's right. Right. And I don't have a problem with that. Yeah. Be, but then, when Australia played as world champions the rest of the world and the ICC picked the team for the rest of the world, they included them test as test match. matches because yeah. they were getting lots of money from sponsors. Now, it's either all in or all out. Yeah. I have no problem with being out because there weren't two test teams, you know, two sure. nations. But, but this is, this is they're taking away first-class status from these. Crazy. That's ridiculous. So what that is ridiculous. So yeah, who, that. what happens with that then? Well, who, have to who, change the database, won't be? But it's you know they do. They are ridiculous the way they change yeah. these things all the time. In goes Roland Jones, and that's uh, prodded away into the offside. Politics, isn't it? Yeah. How many games? How many games were there? I can't remember. Well, five. Three, in the series five. five yeah. It's politics to interfere with it, mm. and because they're talking about politics taking them out. Yeah. But if, if <laughs> I mean it's nonsense, isn't it? Who played? Who played? Uh, Alan Jones opened the batting. Alan Jones, of course. He got a pair. Did he open with you? you, you no, played. I didn't play till the fourth test. I played the fourth and fifth. Right. And I wasn't to. So they don't count as well. first-class matches anymore. <laughs> well, that's silly, isn't it? First-class umpires, first-class players. Some of the best players in the world were playing. So that rest of the world side is yeah. a fantastic team. J just to say it's not first-class yeah. is nonsense, isn't it? So all those records was, well, have been. Great players. As, as Jeffrey's saying, Sobers, Sobers and Pollock had one particular partnership. You can look at it on oh, YouTube. Fabulous. Sobers and Pollock betting together. Can you imagine fabulous. that? Fabulous. So those, those hundreds won't oh count. God. That's ridiculous. It really is. I mean, and there was Eddie Barlow got four wickets and five balls. All sorts of things happened in that series. I mean, they're not first class. I mean, I have no problem with no test matches. And no, no. But the other one in Australia, Australia versus rest of the world, should not be test matches then. But they kept it because they picked the side. Here's Roland Jones, and that's driven nicely down to mid-on. And there's no run. It's so an anomaly, isn't it? You know, it's either all in or all out. Yeah. You know, but they just pick. I mean, so to be clear, does that mean that these are now retrospectively scrubbed? So all these stats from those matches now will be gone. Yeah, will well, be gone. I mean, I suppose. And so they're, it's backdated. Yeah, we'll have to take them out. I suppose we'll. I suppose we'll have to see what the Association of Cricket Statisticians and people like that say as well. Well, they should say no. We're not going to. It'll be. A, it'll be another little argument, won't it? Yeah. Hmm. But if they're backdated, then. Yep. Everything subsequent to that is also sort of goes down by one, as it were, or it may be. Here's Roland Jones on off stump, and uh, has pushed away out to it, point. It would do actually, Jeffrey. Yeah, you got 100 in that series, didn't you? There, the, uh, the last match here at the Oval, I only played two tests. So. so there'd be a bit of a problem there if that's taken out. Not really. Well, it, it wasn't a test match 100 anyhow, because it, it was it was a test match, but then it was taken out by the ICC, so it never was a test yeah. match. But I think I see what. 
Angus is alluding to here because your 100 hundred would now become your 99th hundred. Well, isn't it ridiculous? <laughs> no, I mean, that's completely ridiculous. It's right. You're right to him. He's an idiot for putting that out. I, I mean, and you just, you, it's po that is politics alone because you've got a, a black government in South Africa asking them because of politics to take it out. And cricket should say, hey, they're saying we're not getting involved in politics, wow. and that's what they should be saying, shouldn't they? This is all, this not is, Peter Hayne and this the is South African this government. Is, this is remarkable. 187 for six. So that, so like Jeffrey's <laughs> instance then. <laughs> exactly. So like, well, the others, there might be others who've got 100, yeah. there's another record that you'll have to... But yours was at yeah. Headingley, it was special. It was. Of course it was. You knocked out all those plates. Commemorative plates. <laughs> the all those commemorative plates. Knocked things. out, as you said. I, I mean, that's how daft it is, isn't it? But does it matter? Where, well, where, 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 well, hang on. Say this is real, then, Andrew. Where was, wh which one was Jeffrey Boycott's proper, authentic, hundred hundred? Well, the one after that. Where was that? Timbuktu. <laughs> I said probably Timbuktu. Nobody knows. Sammy it's 11th Old of Hassan. August. 11th of August, 1977. So famous. In that, was the hun that was the hundred. Me, that would have been. Wait. So where did Jeffrey Boycott really get his 100th 100 then? Your next 100, you're not going to like this. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm not bothered. Um, I just think it's daft. United Bank Limited on a tour match at Faisalabad on the Pakistan Oh, tour. yes, they got one in Faisalabad, <laughs> yeah, wonderful. Well, that's your 100th 100. Well, a much better place, isn't it, Faisalabad, and to get your 100th 100? What's huh? what, what about all these plates and caps and bats that you've signed? And I haven't what signed them, you, you muppet. But uh, nothing, I just... Think it's wrong for everybody that it's just silly, isn't it? It's politics. It's, it's a, politics. No, it's a great day for cricket and humanity. I'm sure the players involved will take it on the chin. That's one of the quotes. Yeah, well done. See what look people say. Well, in comes Anderson. Bowls. That's pushed uh, down towards mid off. And hang on, they're being serious a minute because but what what date was Jeffrey's hundredth hundred? Eleventh of August. Eleventh of August, seventy-seven. That's right. Yep. So that's coming up. We've, uh, we haven't got anything planned for that, have we? We're not doing anything special, are we? We are, actually. We have, to, we have to can it. We're having a do at our house, 180 people. We're raising money for the Yorkshire Air Ambulance. We're going to cancel it. We're not cancelling it. It's all sold and done. Oh. I'll put it this way. Samuel Hassan and... Mm. Here comes Anderson, and bowls the outside the off-stump. We'll not no get stump. an invite. <laughs> <laughs> That's for sure. But you can't celebrate your 99th. And hundred. Dave Richardson, the chief executive, I love you, Dave, but you won't be getting one either. But you can't celebrate your 99th hundred. No, we're celebrating it because it's nonsense. That's it. Just silly. There'll be other people as well. I know. After you know, the words. There's a two or three after me got 100 hundreds, isn't there? I mean, theirs will be. I mean, you yeah. can't go changing history just like that for politics. It's for politics. Because actually, you invited me to that dinner. I but did. You, but you invited me under false pretenses. But no? the way, the way you're carrying on now, you're definitely not getting an invite. Well, you've already invited me, but it's not. Well, I'm taking it back. It's, it's under false pretenses. It well, wasn't at the time. I must admit, I wasn't. I was not expecting that. I mean, that, that's going to. Well, it really gave you something to talk right. about. It's a mess, isn't it? Yeah. It's a mess, isn't it? It's an absolute mess. Mm. Well said, Andrew. Yeah. It's also a complete wind-up, Jeffrey. And after <laughs> thoughts from you, that's going to be to me. Is that right? <laughs> you muppet. You, it's never. <laughs> Is that wind up? You muppet, Agnew. I'll get you for that. <laughs> you. Well, you've done me a few times, but that's the biggest one. You. <laughs> Oh, he's enjoying that at the back. I'm keeping this. I hope my rates she'll be listening to this. She'll be laughing. You've done me easy, haven't you? Like a kipper. Not difficult, Jeffrey. <laughs> Not difficult, he says. It's a good letterhead, actually, after Get off me, I don't want any more about that. It's a good letterhead. International Cricket Council, Samuel Hassan. <laughs> Broad's getting ready to have a bowl. They're not going to take his record. Never away. mind, Broad. I'm just still reeling from this. If you want to take Andrew, a moment, you want to take a moment to compose yourself, Jeffrey, that's fine. You've taken the joke in such good grace. Well, that was a beauty, that. <laughs> that sure the was a beauty. Will take it on the chin. <laughs> <laughs> you. <laughs> Go 
<laughs> you could have come out of retirement. Jeffrey. Shut up, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> <laughs> Brought in now one of the off stuff Morris. Windy meal. Andrew, I bet he were part of that. It was very well planned and executed, wasn't it? <laughs> was it ever? That was a cracker, that, wasn't it? When I looked up your 101st 100, 100, because Agus was going, where would be his 100th 100, 100, 100? He did have a good laugh when it was Faisalabad. Yeah. <laughs> Faisalabad. It was flat there, beginning of the tour. I took one look at it, it was cream coloured, straw coloured, not a blade of grass anywhere. Thought 100. <laughs>